Workshop 1, Debt Management Hello everyone, this is Roan Celis Capistrano of One Million Club. Welcome to our Financial Foundation Educational Program. I believe that if you want to improve your financial situation, one of the things that you have to work out is paying off your debts. Living debt-free is less stressful way to live. Just imagine the day when you had no debt or payments and think about how much simpler life was. If you could use your income for building financial independence, how much better would life look and feel with no stress? So our target is to move you from being a debtor to saver. Control your debt or debt will control you. Debt can turn into a disease. It could control your life, diminish your happiness, and limit your freedom. Getting out of debt may be one of the hardest things to do and takes a lot of effort and time. But you must fight to do it. You can never be free until you are debt free. There is no easy way. You have to give up something to get something. First step is acceptance. Dapat accept mo yung responsibility na kailangan mong magbayad. Marami nang nangungutang sa akin at di nagbayad. Siyempre, nasira na ang tiwala ko sa kanila. Kaya your decision is very important. Decide to pay your debts. Sabi nga, di magiging madali pero di lang naman usapang pera to. Integrity mo ang pinag-uusapan dito. Some strategies for reducing credit card debt include First, don't get more debt. Live below your means. Second, Use cash, debit, or prepaid credit cards. Third, pay only what is necessary like food, the mortgage, insurance, etc. And fourth, cut out unnecessary expenses like cable TV and tech upgrades. Two ways to freeze a credit line. First, contact the creditor and ask them to freeze the credit limit and not offer any more credit. Take the credit cards out of your purse or wallet and put them in a safe, hidden spot. The other is to be disciplined and stop using credit card. Good habits are hard to build. Spending is a habit. Saving is a habit. What is the true cost of debt? You are paying lots of interest to someone else. This money is not working for you. Bakit nga ba ang bilis mag-compound ng interest sa utang? You have to understand the concept of Rule of 72. To use the Rule of 72, divide 72 by the interest rate. The result is the number of years it takes for debt to double. Kung 4% per year ang interest, every 18 years, do double utang mo. Kung 8% per year ang interest, every 9 years, do double utang mo. At kung 12% per year ang interest, every 6 years, do double utang mo. If a credit card has an interest rate of 18%, how long will it take before the borrowed amount doubles? 4 years. It is more horrifying in the Philippines because credit card interest rates are at 3.5% per month or 42% per year. Kaya kung 3% per month or 36% per year ang interest ng utang mo, 72 divided by 36 equals... Every 2 years, do double value ng utang mo dahil sa pag-compound ng interest. Kaya kung umutang ka ng year 2015 na 60,000, after 2 years or year 2017, do double na siya at 120,000 kung di mo binabayaran. Year 2019, magiging 240,000 and year 2021, magiging 480,000. Kaya importante na kung may utang ka sa credit card, don't just pay the minimum pay as soon as possible. Is there another way? Apply the principles of debt roll-up. Debt roll-up starts by increasing cash flow by principles learned in the first part of this workshop. Attack the highest interest rate and smallest debt balance first. Again, unahin mong bayaran yung may malaking interest. Paano ba yung debt roll-up? In our example, ang budget niya to pay off his debt is 35,000 a month. So point number 1, dapat may fixed amount ka galing sa sweldo mo na nilalaan mo para pambayad ng utang. Di pwedeng pag-fill mo lang magbayad. 
On the second month, dahil bayad niya na yung personal debt, yung 5,000 na budget niya for that, dinagdag niya na pambayad ng credit card. 10,000 na instead of 5,000. Noong third month, dahil bayad niya na yung credit card, yung 10,000 na budget niya, dinagdag niya pambayad sa appliance loan. Noong fourth month, same strategy, yung 15,000 na budget niya, dinagdag niya pambayad sa car loan. Hanggang sa zero out mo na lahat ng utang mo. Another point is to increase your cash flow. Please watch my video about increasing cash flow. Dahil mas mabilis kang makakabayad ng utang mo kung increase mo income mo. Now, let's talk about emergency fund. Importante na may extra fund ka na pwedeng nasa savings account mo or ATM. Ito yung fund na pwede mo agad ma-withdraw in case of emergency like major car repairs, major home repairs, major appliance repairs or replacement, loss of job, serious illness or hospitalization, extended elder care or long-term care. Karamihan walang emergency fund. Utang ang ginagawang solusyon kaya maraming nalulubog sa utang. Basic rule of thumb is 3 months. Sample, kung 20,000 ang mantang salary mo times 3, dapat at least may 60,000 ka sa savings account mo as emergency fund. Step 1, start saving 1,000 per month. Step 2, Increase to 3 times monthly income. And step 3, increase to 6 times monthly income. Final thoughts, would you be willing to be disciplined with spending and live the rest of your life debt-free? Cash is king. Maybe it's time for you to perform plastic surgery on most of your credit cards. Buy things that you need, not what you want. Who are you working for every day? Your employer? Your government? Your bank? yourself. Who will benefit the most from your hard-earned money? It should be yourself. Madalas may nagsasabi, sweldo, di ko man lang naramdaman. Di ko man lang nahawakan. I hope marami kang natutunan sa video na to. Kung debtor ka, money is working against you. So decide to be debt-free and move to become a saver and investor so that you have peace of mind. Financial independence is not a dream. It's a decision. Again, I'm Roan Salis Capistrano. Kung nakatulong sa'yo ang video na to, share this video. And to know more about savings, investment, or kung gusto mong maging financial educator kagaya ko, visit bit.ly slash 1 million club or email me at roan.capistrano at gmail.com.